February 9th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. And uh, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a long one. Let me begin by uh, this morning. Alex Jones covers the pole shift on his little show. So I posted a video response. Well, actually, I attached uh, the North South Pole video I put out a while ago as a as an attachment and uh, he's talking about doing several more shows about it and if you don't know who Alex Jones is okay um, and then Max Kaiser of all people uh, the the crazy economist that's on Russian TV and uh, has a he's going after the bankers on a show and whatnot he put out a report today about um, Chinese rice. Now apparently they're taking potatoes and sweet potatoes and mixing it with a plastic extract binder. Okay? Uh, apparently he was saying something about um, that these Vietnamese um, doctors are saying that eating three bowls of this rice is equal to eating one plastic, say, Walmart bag or, you know, those little plastic bags. Uh, so definitely check and make sure it's a hundred percent natural rice if it's coming from China <sighs> And uh, let's get on with the report shall we very busy day prolonged drought threatens Chinese food Producing regions and you wonder why they're making fake rice uh, An extreme so shortage of rain snow this winter has blightened China's chief food producing areas Agriculture production across 4 million hectares has fallen dangerously in what is the worst drought in six decades across the province which helped feed cities in northern China. Precipitation is at a precariously low levels. Uh, the story goes on. And they are in some serious trouble. Another Japanese volcano erupts. Um, and another Japanese volcano has erupted. Minami Dake Crater at Sakajimara, a volcano on Japan's southern island of Kyushu, erupted Tuesday following volcanic explosions at Mount uh, Kirishima in the same region. Uh, the volcano spewed plumes of smoke and ash up to 200 meters in the air. And, uh, of course, the emergency crews did their thing. Um, there are two pages on earth changes today. Uh, they have a story huge uh, Yellowstone volcano rising and they're just re reiterating uh, the land rise, the swelling that's going on in, in uh, Yellowstone right now and it has been ongoing for several years. Uh, New York weather, heavy fog, rains, dropping temperatures expected. Yeah, those cold weather reports I'm putting out. Here comes some cold air, buddies. Growing fears in Japan as two volcanoes erupt again. And it's just ongoing up in that um, ring of fire Japan all the way up through Russia. So we've got volcanoes popping off all on that edge. Uh, Mississippi, significant snow possible. Winter storm watch issued. And we do have a system that's moving south of us. And uh, so all, all of my Missourians and uh, East Coasters, here comes yet another bout. UN issues alerts on flood damage in Southern Africa, drought in China. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization on Monday issued an alert warning that floods and heavy rains have significantly damaged whole areas of agricultural land across Southern Africa and that the livelihood and food security of farmers and their families are at risk. Again, more and more stories about food shortages, crop losses, uh, weather damage, um, cattle loss. Southern Africa may face worst flooding in decades. In the coming months, parts of the Southern African may experience the worst flooding in the last 20 or 30 years. That's the warning Monday from the UN Food and Agricultural Organization. And again, it seems the entire southern hemisphere is just non-stop flooding and uh, chaos this, their summer. 
Sri Lankan's floods pile on misery, according to the United Nations. Here we go again. The United Nations said Tuesday that a recent monsooning flooding in Sri Lanka had hit hundreds of thousands of victims who were forced from their homes just weeks ago. The impact of this second wave of floods is even greater than the first, in large part as the people's capacity to cope was already diminished. Uh, UN Colum Colombo Chief Neil Boone said in a statement. So these people are already knocked down from floods um, just weeks ago and here they are getting hit yet again. Uh, we've got an earthquake 5.2 off the coast of Oregon. Uh, no real tsunami warnings but that's a pretty big popper here on the west coast of the United States. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna read this whole story. Iceland volcano set to erupt. Scientists in Iceland's warning that another volcano looks to erupt and threatening to spew a pail of dust that would dwarf last year's event. A geologist detected high risk of a new eruption after evaluating an increasing swarm of earthquakes around the island's second largest volcano. And of course the story goes on. Let's get to Calypso spire, Spice Polar Stratospheric Clouds. Da, da, da. Unusual atmosphere phenomenon, also known as Narcurus Clouds. Clouds do not usually form the, the stratosphere because of the dry conditions, but the polar regions, often near mountain ranges, as, as atmospheric gravity waves on the lower atmosphere, can push just enough moisture into the high altitudes. The extreme low temperature of the stratosphere condenses ice and nitric acid into clouds that play an important role in depletion of stratospheric ozone. And let's go to the extinction protocol. Mysterious lava substance oozes from the ground in India. Um, Kurnool, India. In a strange phenomenon, a black chemical su substance gushed out from the earth, creating panic. In a village in uh, Kurnool di district on Monday, Huge cavities also formed in the three acres of land owned by a farmer. About 100 kilometers from uh, Kurnool, soon after the black substance spewed out from beneath the land, um, it damaged the soil. The nearby grass caught fire when the black substance spread like lava from a volcano. A cement electric pole in the vicinity collapsed. Uh, this guy said he first saw the phenomenon two days ago. Officials rushed to the village to take stock of the strange occurrence. Experts say they would conduct studies to unveil the mystery behind the spewing out of blackish material from beneath the earth. Uh, they're saying about they first noticed a strange odor and plants withering. Uh, another big story here, Saturn Superstorm now expanding around the planet. Uh, storms on Saturn, a vast thunderstorm that erupted on Saturn during the closing weeks of 2010 is still going strong. It looks like a comet plowed through Saturn's northern hemisphere, uh, reports astronomer Christopher Geo. He took these pictures, blah blah blah. Yeah, they've got one hell of a storm going on on Saturn right now. And uh, out of Russia, a super pack of wolves have been terrifying a Russian town after leaving more than 30 horses dead in just four days. 400 bloodthirsty wolves have been spotted prowling around the edges, uh, I'm not going to slur it, of uh, this Russian town attacking livestock at will. 24 teams of hunters have been put together to get rid of the wolves with a bounty of uh, 210 um, rubles, I would imagine, for every wolf skin brought to officials. Uh, so they put a bounty on these wolves, and they said as soon as the weather clears, they're going to go up in helicopters and hunt them that way. And one more story I want to cover tonight. Um, 
Stromboli Online, uh, Urta Ale. It's a volcano in Ethiopia. Up here they've just posted um, some some really cool pictures of the lava pond um, in this volcano. It is very active. You can see the lava. And this is part of that where the, the, the African plate is pulling apart. And uh, this is a volcano in a chain of in that area. And I thought that really interesting to watch. Um, again, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, <laughs> um, stay tuned. Alex Jones is on the ball. And uh, definitely check out that fake Chinese rice. And uh, if you've got some substitute rice, don't eat it. It's plastic. Um, until next time, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.